Today we're gonna talk about grass blade, which is one of the best add-ons for creating all sorts of vegetation in addition to different fields in Blender. It helps CG artists to create photorealistic lines, grasslands, fields, or meadows easily. With version 2 of the add-on that has been released recently, it is now offering a large collection of high-quality 3D assets that contains over 550 photorealistic assets, which I think is amazing, and they are optimized for cycles and EV render engines. These assets are gathered from more than 200 different biomes, where each biome is completely customizable. Actually, these biomes are classified into different categories. Clean grass, fields, drylands, flowers, garden grass, pebbles, rocky grounds, and wild grass. The materials are 100% compatible with Cycles and EV, and each asset is made from precise photo scans with very accurate PBR workflows. The shaders are also customizable. You can, for example, change the seasons of the plants or add moss or dirt to your rocks. This add-on also provides a bonus of 36 biomes of stones and pebbles with different shapes with the ability to change the size and the aspect. There is a new biome in version 2 of Grass Blade created from dead leaves. This will be helpful to create cool looking autumn scenes in gardens or in forests. To make it look realistic, you can add a complete ecosystem with all the available assets like grass in addition to using scattering tools to make it look believable. In the same vein, there is also a mulch category to add similar effects and create environments and scenes that include dead sticks. There is also the tall grass category that is made of various biomes which are good for nature scenes in the wild. In addition, the developers of Grass Blade made sure to make the other categories even richer by adding more biomes, such as architectural biomes that include hay, rice, tomato, salad, pineapple, and much more. Whether you are a brand new 3D artist or someone looking to save resources, I personally think that this add-on can be very useful. It is based on the latest geometry node technology thanks to the powerful scattering engine of Scatter 5. Most of the time, the scenes with foliage are very heavy and require a lot of computing power. But using the proxy system of scattering engine is a good way to dodge this problem. Simply you will see a rough shape of the object in the viewport, but when you render, you will see the full resolution with all the details. If you are interested in the add-on, you can find the necessary links in the description. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below if you have something to add, also you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.